Hi everybody, it's Faye here, and I am here to do my June collective haul slash favorites slash not so favorites. So it's going to be a bit of a mix of a bunch of different stuff. So the first new thing that happened in June is that I got a new haircut, which I'm sure you've seen in my other two videos, but I haven't really talked about it. Um, I felt like I needed a change, and usually when I need a change, I need to change the color and the style, and so I did an undercut which I really like actually um, I like wearing it, I wear it to the side a lot um, but I've also done like the pompadour look and um, it just it suits me and it's a little different from what I was doing before which was just the black growing my hair out trying not to go crazy <laughs> and I did so I cut it um, and I'm just really happy with it so so that's my first new thing in June. My next new thing in June, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with makeup. Um, so the first thing I got, and this, I actually got this in May, um, but I had to share it because it's like one of my favorite things in June, I've been using it all the time, is this really cute little owl makeup case. Oops, <laughs> it's upside down. So my friend Adria got this for me and it's super cute and I use it all the time. I keep it in my purse and I take it everywhere. So I love it. I'm super happy with it. And I put some of my makeup that I got this month in it so that I just could take it out and show you guys. Um, so I have been replacing all of my makeup with cruelty free brands. And one of the brands that I've really become a big fan of is NYX. Um, so this month I got a bunch of stuff from NYX that I really liked and one thing from NYX that I really didn't like. So I'm going to show you everything that I got from NYX this month. Just lining it up because I'm OCD like that. And I'll start with my favorite thing from NYX which is this blush which I don't normally wear blush but I just fell in love with the color and I wear it all the time and it's called Rose Garden it's PD26 and it's just a super pretty it's you can't really see on camera but it's like a shimmery pretty blush I'm wearing it today you can kind of see and I just love it and I don't normally wear blush and I have fallen in love with this one so that's the first thing the next thing I got was this NYX Love in Rio palette And it's L-I-R-O-1, no tan lines allowed. So it's a really nice palette. Um, my only complaint about it is that it's super powdery. So you get a lot of fallout. Um, so I just have to take like a big fluffy powder brush and brush that away once I'm done doing my makeup. Um, the next thing I got, I got two lipsticks. I got Summer Love, which is a kind of a nude and it's super nice it's at like the perfect color for me and I love it a lot um, and the next color I got was Indian pink which is like a coral super pretty corally pink and I really like that one um, I wear them both like all the time not at the same time obviously and then the next thing I got to go with summer love was this sheer nude kind of gloss and I actually really like these kind of like angled gloss brushes that they do um, it means that you don't get like huge globby amounts of gloss because it kind of scrapes itself off as it goes into the thing and then this is my unfavorite this is I didn't like um, and that's the NYX fly with me mascara it's got this really weird brush that kind of flares out and I just find that it doesn't get me the long full lashes that I really like um, and that it's sticky so it tends to like stick my eyes shut while it, before it dry like while it's drying so I didn't really like that um, I can't return it obviously but I will probably be picking a different mascara out probably from NYX give them another shot 
and see what else they have for me. So that's all my mix. Oh, no, it's not. So the next thing I got, the last thing I got from NYX is actually this eye and lip makeup remover. And oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I just tried it for the first time today, um, taking off my old makeup from yesterday because I'm bad like that. Um, and it is amazing. It's so clean and it doesn't like smudge your makeup all over your face. It just takes it off. Um, it's extra and gentle and soft, but strong enough to remove all the don't want to leave you stuff on your eyes and lips. So long smudges. And yeah, it, that's exactly what it does. So it's like a two-part product and you shake it up to mix it and then you use it. And it's just fantastic. I love it. So the last makeup item I got, and this is the thing I'm sorry, I don't want to show you yet. Um, the, this is the thing I'm most excited about. This was an early birthday present from my mother for, to send me to Burn in the Forest with, and it is the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I am so excited about this. I tried it out um, the other day when I went to a party, and it, the colors are so bright and pigmented and pretty, so... That's the colors. Oh, here, we'll, let's take the brush out so that I can actually show you the palette. It comes with a brush, which is actually a really nice brush. This is a brush I used for, it's a double-ended brush, and it's the brush I used to do my makeup with when I use this palette. And it's got 10 colors, and they're all super bright and pigmented and pretty, and I love them so much. I've tried Urban, which is the purple, and then, Fringe, which is this kind of teal color, and then also Revolt, which is the silver. I used it as a highlight, and it's so pretty, so I'm really happy with that. So that's all the makeup I got this month. Um, I guess the next thing I'll do is clothes. Um, I have a really fun burlesque number coming up where I'm going to be doing like a western theme burlesque. So there's a few things I had to pick up for that. And the first thing, obviously, is a cowboy hat. And it is a super cute, like, wicker or straw cowboy hat. <laughs> it looks super cute on. I have to reshape it a little bit, but it, I got it at the thrift store for like three dollars. So I was really happy with that. They were having a fit, Value Village was having a 50% off sale, so I got all of this 50% off. Um, and yeah, so I got the hat for $3. Um, where's my boots? I thought I put the boots up here. Okay, so this isn't a Value Village thing. This is just a little plaid shirt that I got on a Bidding Wars website. And it's a plus size Bidding Wars website. It's a really cute little, it's got like some catherine under the bust and then I cut the sleeves off to make it more kind of like grungy rednecky but it's super cute and the colors are really nice and then the last thing I got for the western number which I'm trying to find oh are these super cute and these were a steal um, they are Aldo cowboy boots, and if you don't know what Aldo is, it's a really expensive shoe company here in Canada. I don't know if they have it in the States. Um, they are real leather, size 10, and they were at Value Village for $24.99. I got them 50% off, so I got them for $12.50. These are probably a $120 boot, so I got them at like 90% off, which is pretty amazing. And they look like they've barely been worn they're super comfy and they're just really cute little boots for this western number and i'm probably going to wear them like all over the place at burn in the forest so they're a really great buy and then the next two things i got are for a cosplay i'm going to do and i'm not going to tell you what it is i'm going to let you be surprised but the first thing i got were these super cute yellow ballet flats with these little details right here 
and they are so cute so cute and I love them so I'm going to be wearing those for this cosplay that I'm doing and again they look like they've barely been worn the tread is still really good and these were normally nine dollars and I got them for nine what's half what's half of nine four fifty I got them for four fifty <laughs> And then the last thing I got is also for this cosplay, and it was six, seven dollars, so I got it for three fifty. And it's this really, really cute little yellow sweater with like cap sleeves, and it just looks really. Yellow is a really good color for me, so it looks super cute on. So that's all the clothes I got this month, and then also at the at uh, Value Village. My boyfriend found this pillow and loved it, so we bought it, um, and it was also 50% off, and it says, not tonight, and tonight. So, it's a little dirty, but it's kind of funny, and we thought it was super cute, so we picked it up. Um, and then in the miscellaneous items, I actually couldn't find all of my miscellaneous items that I got this month. But um, I got some, I guess these can go in the clothes ones. I got these plugs, which I did a video on. So I'm not going to show you, like, I'll just show you super fast. I got these really amazing um, picture plugs, which I'm wearing the Ouija board ones that I talked about. And then I got two other pairs of the picture plugs and the pair of stainless steel plugs this month. And the very last thing that I've got to show you is a hula hoop. And I got this because I went to a festival called Mad Skills this last weekend. And it was so much fun. It's a prop manipulation festival. So it's like juggling and hula hooping and um, like fan spinning and staff spinning. And it's just a lot of fun. So I went to that this weekend, last weekend, last weekend, um, and I took some hula hooping courses. And I can't hula hoop, <laughs> but I want to hula hoop. So I bought this really amazing leopard print and purple hula hoop at Mad Skills. They had some vendors there, and it is a big 42-inch beginner's hoop. Um, and so I'm hoping that I will get better at hula hooping and then if I do start doing it like on a regular basis I will actually make a new channel for like all my hula hooping and prop manipulation videos because I do also spin fire fans and I will be learning to contact juggle because I also bought a contact juggling ball which I can't find um, so once I find it I will be learning to contact juggle so um I don't know that I need to link anything this month because most of it came from the thrift store and like NYX is a really easy brand to find, as is Urban Decay if you go to Sephora. Um, oh, I will link the company that makes the hula hoops though because they are so amazing. They make the best hula hoops. Um, but yeah, that's my June favorites video. If you liked watching this and you want to see some more, please hit the button below and subscribe. And I will see you all next week. Bye.